Okay, is this coming through? I'm not seeing on Twitch on my end, but... I, I went and messed around with it, and then, uh... And then Nestopia crashed. Okay. Okay, it looks like it is working. All right. Um. So. Um. I'm continuing. For those who remember my last stream, I'm continuing with uh, Mega Man Three: The Rise and Fall of Doctor Wily. This was a pretty. This was a pretty impressive. Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't a um, super groundbreaking hack. Not as uh, much. Not as much as other ones have it it gave a lot of added challenge to the game which which I liked I I otherwise fu have found this game to be pretty easy but they at least made the the initial eight robot master levels more challenging so yeah let's see how uh, how much the uh, dock robot levels are gonna well we're off to a great start. Oh, well, it was probably for the better then, because I was on my last life. I me I totally meant to do that, viewers. 100% intentional. Oh yeah, Sparkman's level was the one that really sucked before, wasn't it? At least it had a few really tricky spots. Oh. Still getting a little tricky. Let's just, uh, fly right around that. And this. And this, then. Okay. Oh, boy. Seriously. What? You dick. Oh, no. Uh, crap. Do I really have to farm these guys for for rush jet energy? Oh. Well, oh, and so I wasted it. Okay. Yeah, hard knuckle works pretty well on these things, although. The way they fire is a little awkward. It's usually easier to just use the Mega Buster. Which is probably what I should have done before, rather than try and get fancy and freezing them with the um, Spark Shock. When I said I appreciate a, a bigger challenge, this wasn't what I had in mind. Okay, that, that's better. But I'm still in dire need of health. 
because I presume it's going to be the same here. Um, like, the lack of checkpoints. So if I die on the Doc Robot fight, I don't start in the boss hallway right before him. I start all the way back at the beginning of the level. Don't get greedy. I haven't played Blaster Master Zero. I take it that's kind of the same thing. They just, uh, they take the original Blaster Master and made it harder. You're not going to give me more health, are you? Well, maybe a little bit. Should still have the same weakness. If he, if this is still a metal man, yeah. Okay, that works. Going nuts with the spikes, are we? Okay, I'll put Rush Jet down there and just use you as a, uh... Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, use him as a little safety net. more of this. Why did I? Oh, oh, that was close. I was kind of anticipating him, though. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm not going to last long there, so. At least I know, yeah, I'll, I should still start here.
Doc Needleman. Gonna take any chances with that. Yeah, we're now we're gonna put this segment here, huh? spikes down that way. Yep. Oh, this will probably be air, man. I like the design of this level too. Better than all those damn spikes in Sparkman's level. Ah. Hmm. Uh. Guess I jumped too early. Oh you oh you're still talking about uh Blaster Master Zero. Dark Gemini as I was liking the design of that level up until the second half.
Bit of a tricky segment, but manageable. You're being very generous with the one-ups, at least. Don't know if that should concern me. Yeah, it was only in uh, the Game Boy game where the, that stuff was animated. You need to be real careful with your shots, basically. So you don't actually accidentally shoot an egg. Oh, now we got a forest rush jet segment. Oh, nice. Okay, this is gonna be Doc Flashman. I'm not gonna take any chances with the Gemini laser this time, so just use the needle cannon, maybe. I think I'll have to use an E-Tank, because Well that wasn't it. I don't know if I ended up needing that or not. Normally he deals a lot of contact damage, which is what makes uh, Quick Man and Flash Man so more problematic. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, but there's more. Okay. Dark Bubble Man.
Von Camp and Hammer Joe there. Pretty neat level so far. We have more of them. Yep. You dick. You. Now there's a Force Rush Jet segment. So, they, so they're going to force you to do all of this without it. So you can save it for this. That's devious. You were right about the one-up curse, Noble. It just took a little bit for it to actually happen. Because it's either this or, uh, or just wasted a bunch of time farming. You need Rush Jet for this, too. So that gets out of here. Oh, wow. Standing just on the edge. Um, oh, here comes another one. I kind of want to use it for a couple seconds. 
actions. Okay, here's that portion. Please tell me I can get away with doing it for this. Okay. Made it. Doc Woodman. <laughs> right. Okay, we made it. That part wasn't too bad. Now we just have to try uh, Doc Needleman's level again.
take two with Doc here. Now we have this gauntlet. That really forces you to... Rush. Thanks. Forgot that he was going to disappear after that. Not helping matters is the really... These things have really stupid hit detection, too. going to use an E-Tank. I hope... I hope it's enough to get me through this. What happened when I died? Um, basically, I had gone to the, uh, I had gone to the menu and didn't realize that Rush had, uh, Rush apparently disappears when you do that. Tight quarters with that guy. <laughs> I was ex Yeah. I'm on to your little tricks. Oh, or how much longer is this level? Okay, if I... Okay, good. Ah, <sighs> wow. Doc Crashman, I hope, uh... 
I hope this goes all right. Spoke too soon. Wow. Please tell me that was okay. I mean, come on, this, sh this shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, there. Now we deal with break, man. Now we'll see how Wily's Fortress treats us. In the original game, Wily's Fortress was super easy. Easier than the Doc Robot levels, I felt. See how much they, uh, they cranked up the challenge for this. That was what it kind of looked like at first. At least it seems a lot of uh, ROM hacks pay homage to that part of Mega Man 2. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Again, still easier than the Doc Robot levels.
this looks fun. Hopefully you'll... Whoa. Whoop. Okay. Um, damn it. Nope. Why can't I get over that? It doesn't look like a hard jump. Ah, uh, I think, uh... Yeah, you try to trip me up by putting stage select first, but... I think if I select... If I choose stage select, it puts me, uh... Back at the first fortress level. Some of these earlier games did that. They make it so I really can't ride Rush up this, because instead I get... Okay, there we go. Again, spikes seem to have weird hit detection sometimes. It's like you get anywhere in their general vicinity, you're dead. Time for the bees. I'm not seeing them yet, though. I guess not. Okay, Yellow Devil. pretty easy.
Get off me. rush. Okay. This is going to be the copy robot. Should still be with the search snake. And if it's the same as before, yeah, it always should still start on the top. Okay, so the, the Wily Fortress levels, they're still harder than they were in the original game. But still not as hard as the... As the, um the Doc Robot levels in this game were. Mr. Monkey. Actually, good on our weapons. Take the one up, though. Boss rush should go same as usual.
since they didn't do anything to alter the boss weaknesses or AI or anything, they're still the easiest part of this. still do anything to change these levels up much? Probably not. Yeah. Now this looks different. Oh, not by much. Just a lonely hammer Joe guarding the final boss door. Actually completed one of these. So yeah, once again, it seemed like the, the uh, Doc Robot levels were the ones that gave me the hardest time. Overall, still provides, provides a little bit more of a challenge from the original Mega Man 3. I just wish maybe they had, they had done something to change the boss fights up a little bit. Because, like I said, that that ended up making those the that the easiest part of this game. So I'll let this play out briefly, and then I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes after that with the new, uh, with another hack.
All right, I'll see you in a few.